Hey y'all, welcome to the channel out here at Long Acre Rescue. It is a beautiful sunny day and I'm not for sure the temperature but it feels like it's like 65. It's really good and it's a nice breeze out and I've got to do some work today. Um, I really wish I could use our battery operated chainsaw but Tim's like no, let me do that. So he's He's um, worried about me being safe, and I understand, you know. But I could do so much while he wasn't here. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm going to walk over here. It's going to be kind of shady. But anyway, um, my doggies are out. I got my little stitch. He's walking over here to me. Got a little stitch over here. <laughs> and I've got Spike on the other side. I don't know if you can see him or not. He's kind of in the shade. But anyway, um, over here at these trees, there's three trees here. Tim had cut a bunch of limbs. I don't know if you can see all that. I mean, they're all over on the ground. Tim cut a bunch of limbs and y'all know the man stays busy and he just has not had time to mess with it anymore. So, I was trying to break the limbs off by hand, and I'm like, forget that. It's hurting my hands. So I didn't. I don't have any tools around here to do much. So I was over at my parents the other day, and I said, hey, Dad, you got one of them things with the long handles, and you just open and close, open and close to do the limbs? I don't know if I know what it's called. But anyway, he said, I sure do. <laughs> so let me pick it up. Mm. Here it is. Here it is right here, y'all. So, I'm going to be delimbing today. That is the plan. And I found me a container outside. I'm losing my shoes. <laughs> Coming off my feet. Anyway, I'm going to put the small limbs that I cut in here. And I have a cover. So that way... They'll dry out, and I'll be able to use them this winter in my rocket stove. So, and the bigger pieces, like this here, the, uh, here you go. Those bigger pieces that I'm cutting the limbs off of, um, we'll be able to use those in that fireplace whenever I can get it over here. So, anyhow, um, that is my plan for today. I was really going to take my tripod... And set it down and let you watch me work today. I can't find it. I know I put it in the car. I don't know what the heck I done with it. I can't find it. And it's my old tripod. The one I always complain about. But that's the one I can use outside. Anyway. So. That's the plan. So what I'll do is. Um, I'll just bring you back. In a little while. When you see. I'll show you what I have done so far. But anyway, um, I want to thank y'all for checking out my other video with the hot water heater. Um, thanks for all the comments. I do appreciate it, and Tim does too. Um, the solar's working good. I'm, I want to try to update you a little bit, and then i got to get busy. But um, the solar's doing pretty good. Um we're using all of the lights on solar in there. Um, we don't have it set up yet like we have at the other house. Um, that's a work in progress, you know. But we only have that one set of solar panels right now. Hopefully we'll get another set soon. But um, here we go. Yeah, I think I've shown them to you. There's the set I get from Harbor Freight. Um, we, need, uh, we need two sets here, but you know, you got to crawl before you run <laughs> so anyway um they're doing really good they are um my batteries are full right now i have two batteries tim got us another battery this past weekend so um you know we're we're doing pretty good we need two more batteries but like i said you got to crawl before you walk but anyhow um i just want to kind of let you know an update on that um we're able to run our tv off of it I do, not, I do not have the internet connected. The internet is connected to the grid. 
Um, I have the lighting and the TVs all on the solar. And I do put um, my radio on the solar. And my fan. What is on the grid is my refrigerators and when I cook in the house. But we, when I get some wood accumulated, we want to start... I'm not myself right in the head with this thing. We want to start um, cooking outside um, the barn area over here. That's the little area we're going to try to fix up. Tim's got a lot of work to do to it. But, I mean... Um, we can use it right now, and when we get some supplies, we can go out there and re-wood what we need to re-wood, and then get the tin fastened down, because some of that tin is just sitting there. It's not connected. So I hope and pray we don't have a big wind. Last night we had a terrible storm here, and um, my dad had sent me a message on Facebook. And he's like, y'all be careful, be safe. Um, and I went and turned the channel to the news. And there was tornado warnings. And um, we, we were getting heavy rain, thunder and lightning. But there was tornado warnings. And there was hail somewhere. But we didn't get any hail. We just got the rain. And I mean, it poured down, y'all. Um, which I was glad because I knew that pouring down rain was filling up my catchments. As of right now, we have got the two 50 gallons full, so that's 100 gallons. Then we've got the 55, so that's 155. You got the 30 gallon, so that's 185. And then you've got the, there's a 22 gallon and another 32 gallon, so that's about 200 gallons. Of water I have saved we still need more containers we need more containers we are in the search right now for them the bigger ones um, so we've got to check on some prices I know one place we can get one and we could put it on layaway and uh, do that but the other place does not so anyway we'll see like I said you got to crawl before you walk Anyhow, um, okay, so we were good with the storm. The doggies did have a little fit, little girls, they had a fit, but um, we have found some leaks, and I'll do that in another video and show you that kind of stuff. Um, I'm, I'm going to do another video, and I should have done it before now. I had one of my friends say, oh, you need to do this, so... Um, I'm going to get out here, and I know I have showed you in another video the, the trailer, but I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about what we have got to do, and who knows what else we're going to have to do that I don't see now. But anyhow, um, let me get busy, and I'll get back with you in just a little while. It'll be shorter than you think, but not for me. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a little while. So, this is what happened was, <laughs> I got tired of cutting limbs. It looks like that stuff was never going away. So, I started dragging a bunch. Give out, y'all. Dragging that mess. Dragging a bunch of it and putting it back here in the very back of the lot into this pile. And someday, some year, the neighbor that lives here usually burns this is like between the two of us we pile stuff up here uh, my grandparents have done it a long time ago and now he's kind of took over and he does the burning of the pile whenever it gets stacked up pretty high so anyway I am back here I'm gonna take all that that I just hauled 
drug back here and uh, throw it in the pile and go get some more. I got that mess on the pile. So I'm going to walk back and go see if I can't get some more. And, oh my gosh, I've got to be ever so careful not to step in red ants. There is several red ant piles that have formed since I have mowed grass back here. And it's probably been two or three weeks since I've mowed grass. So they've decided to form everywhere. So I'm having to watch where I walk. But anyhow, um, back here in the back lot, there used to be a garden back here. My grandfather did a lot of gardening like the homesteaders did. He was, an, he was a homesteader. He raised cows all back here. And um, he farmed. Let's see. You see a trailer there. When I was growing up, there was a two-story house there. And way on the other side was the barn. And that's where he had his cows and stuff. Well, all of this that you can see, and it goes way back yonder, he owned all of that and farmed it. But when he got of age that he couldn't handle it anymore, he sold all that land except where we're at now. I wish that he'd have known better than to sell it years ago. I wish that he would have rented it out. Then he could have had, you know, money all the time coming in for them. But he sold it. So anyway, um, that's just a little bit of what we have going on around here. Like I said, there's farmland all around. And at night, when I'm letting the dogs out to the bathroom, way back here, way back here somewhere, you can hear howling. And we don't know if it's wolves or... Ooh, I felt something at my toes. If it was wolves or is it coyotes? Don't know. Um, beings around... Being that we are around woods and farmland, you don't never know what's in this yard. You could see deer. You could see bear. You could see fox, wolves, coyotes, anything, you know? The list goes on. So you got to be ever so careful when you walk out your door at night, living around the woods, you know, because you're in their play yard. So anyway, let me get on ahead and get some moa stuff. But um, anyway, I'm going to get Tim... He's, he's got a lot of this wooded area we want to do. So, like I said, work in progress. But anyway, let me go get some more limbs. Alright guys, so, it's been a heck of a day. I got as much done as I could. And I have ripped my shirt. I've got holes all in my shirt and stuff. <laughs> I got Spike here trying to attack me. And the sun is blinding me. But the sun has been awesome today. It's not been hot. It's just been beautiful out here. All right, so I want Stitch to bark just a little bit more, y'all. He's upset with me, so sorry if that bothers you. This is doggy world here. All right, I can't see. All right. So in the container, it's full. Well, almost full. In the container, I've got wood, and I've got some stacked over here. I hope I, I hope you saw that, because I can't see a dang thing, y'all. Anyway, I got stu um, wood stacked over there for him to cut. And tomorrow or Friday, I might work in here. Or then again, I might wait for Tim to use the chainsaw and cut that down, and I just pull it out. That might be easier than me snipping each limb. So, um, I did manage, I did manage to get everything laying on the ground picked up 
and put in that back pile. And I cut a few of the limbs, but like I said with the other stuff, I'm just going to get Tim to come with the chainsaw and cut some more down and I'll haul it off. And I walked up front. Oh, I filled my water catchment up. So it's full for a couple days. And I come... Man, it's bright. Whew. I cut some limbs off of here. It had a lot of growth here. And I think that was honeysuckle this summer, if I'm not mistaken. But I got all that cut. I've got to get find my gloves and uh, pull all that stuff and get rid of it. And also, I come up to the driveway close to the road, as you can hear all the freaking traffic. But... I cut some limbs off of the tree over there that I could cut and my no trespassing sign that's on the tree up here I cut the limbs down away from that and over here on the tree over here I cut the stuff away from that also so um anyhow whew. I lost my hat somewhere. I threw that thing off somewhere. It was aggravating the crap out of me. So I don't know where I put it. So anyway, you got to look at my slick back head today. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, phew. Stitch is so mad at me. Well, so, um, since I talked to you, I did move the solar panels over to get the afternoon sun. And my plant growers out there, tell me, I gotta go through here and pick these flowers, these dead ones off. Should I plant these mums? Do mums come back? I don't remember. <laughs> I do not remember. Do they come back? Let me know, because I have no clue if they come back or not. I'd have to go and Google it, and I'm asking y'all. I want you to tell me. Anyway, um, so I don't think I had showed you. There's my three-tier pumpkin that uh, Tim got put up for me, and here was my stuff for the fall kind of thing. And uh, I had gotten those pumpkin, not pumpkin. It's a pumpkin for the head, but I got these at the Dollar Tree a while back. And of course, when we had the rain, we had wind and all last night, it's turned them all around. But when we had the rain, Tim said, why didn't you bring them in the house? I'm like, they're, they're okay. <laughs> they're all right, don't worry about it. But anyway, these flowers were really pretty. And uh, look what's happened to them now. But let me know. Um, should I plant them in the ground? Will they come back? Tell me, please, please, please. Leave me a comment and tell me. So, anyway, um, that's what I've done today. Like I said, I've cut some extra limbs and I've drug and drug and drug stuff back to the pile. And I'm tired. It's almost beer 30. I just went in the house and drank me a bunch of water because I was, I was about to die thirst. Drank me a bunch of water, and um, I've got a couple steaks out. I got some chuck steaks that uh, I actually got from our grocery store at the other place at a really good deal. And um, I paid four bucks, under four dollars for them, actually. They were on clearance. I don't buy anything at regular price if I can help it. <clears throat> so I got those seasoned up. Tim doesn't know it yet. We're going to start the grill when he gets here. I've got two Michelob Ultras in the freezer right now, and we're going to drink us one of those. And then tonight, late tonight, I will probably get leg cramps. Happens every time, but I love a cold Michelob Ultra, but I pay for it later. So, um, probably before I go to bed, I'll probably have to drink me some Powerade Zero. 
and I only have two left. I checked today. I only have two left, so I have got to get some more. They do help with um, the um, leg cramps. They have the potassium in there and the magnesium in there and some other stuff, and that helps. I learned that doing my keto, that drinking a one power eight zero a day helps with leg cramps. Anybody that didn't know that, you do now. Alrighty, peeps. Well, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for spending it with me. I greatly appreciate you. And if this is your first time checking out the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And Tim and I would really love it if you would mash the subscribe button and join us in our journey here at Tim and Amy's Homestead, the Long Acre Rescue. And Spike says, bye, y'all.